peoples hope your day is going awesome today I am left alone because my family has gone to the Nutcracker I guess I could have gone but it's not really my thing I probably fall asleep It'd probably be embarrassing so they all went I'm here and I'm actually gonna go into North Pole I think and get some drone shots or try to get some drone shots and I heard there was also some fireworks gonna be going on so maybe I'll attempt to video that so pretty much that's about all I'm doing today. Fairly laid back, all good. I want to answer some questions maybe a little later on uh, a lot of questions you guys have had. Maybe I'll just kind of wrap it up on maybe just uh, Alaska, safety in Alaska. Is Alaska safe? I don't know, you guys, you guys you're worried about us. Seems like you guys are worried about us. So anyway, I'll answer that a little later. But first, let's go drone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the North Star Ballet's production of The Nutcracker, a presenting The Nutcracker. Enjoy the show. How are you guys doing today? Hope fantastic. We are at the annual Nutcracker ballet performance put on by the North Star Ballet. Such a highlight of our year, so much fun. We are halfway through. You saw some of the little intros of it. I can't really film, I'm not supposed to be filming the ballet, so I want to respect that, but a little snippet of when they started. Um, but we decided to move up to the balcony because we have the entire place to ourselves. The entire place, look at this. It's fantastic. We're gonna let them watch it up here. They can maybe be a little bit more talkative and not have to like dodge people, you know? So we're gonna continue on with the fun ballet. Think, buddy, what do you think of it so far? Do you like it? Yeah, but what happened to it? Let's go! It's coming. actually get these little passports here just to show and you can go up and meet the characters and you can get their autograph. <gasps> She's excited. I did not know that this was something that they do. But I guess it's just for this show we're gonna go up there and actually like meet them. We're excited. <laughs> Show. Yes, you did a very good job. Personally, I'm starting to next book. Oh, well, we took ballet class. Oh, who's your favorite? Are you going to take Where are you going to go? Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. You are really good. Thank you. You're my favorite character, too. Otherwise, you're so. Thank you so much. Do you have a nutcracker when you're older? Like Maybe. Maybe one day. You never know. Am a dancer? <laughs> <laughs> she, she took ballet lessons. Both. Awesome. How did yeah. you guys like the show? Awesome. It was great. It was great. It's so good. It's great. Like the show? Awesome. Did you have a part you really liked? 
I did yeah. like it. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Hi. Did you like the You're show? Really <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> so are you. Yeah. You did a good job in the show. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys were cheering for the mice, right? Were you cheering for the mice? They're such good. Did it change it all this year? Thank you. Go. Do you want a cookie? What do you say? Everybody is getting ready to go to the post office here. We're gonna go do our random acts of Christmas kindness, me included. But I wanna take uh, just a couple uh, minutes and answer some questions, guys. We've got a lot of questions from you guys. A lot of you guys are like concerned for our safety. So I started thinking, you know, is Alaska safe? And are there areas of Alaska that's not safe? Because you guys keep, like you're concerned that the kids are gonna go outside and animals are gonna shoot out of the woods and snatch them up. And then when you see us uh, in the cold weather, you guys are concerned, or like if we get earthquakes, uh, you guys are concerned. So, and we appreciate your concern. And maybe I just thought I'd address like, is Alaska safe? You see a lot of these these videos, these uh, like remote survival type videos where uh, it's just like you're just scraping bark noodles to make you know survival food, or you know use four sleeping bags to stay warm. And the reality is, it's it's it can be that way if you want it to be but it doesn't have to be. Keep in mind though, I would say overall, Alaska is not safe. However, it can be safe. It can be more safe if you are prepared. A few things that I would consider unsafe if you are not prepared, and one of course is the weather. Uh, we have seen negative 60 here in the interior. Now that is without wind chill. We typically don't have a lot of wind, but negative 60 degrees is extremely dangerous. Making sure that you have the appropriate clothes on to be able to stay warm. You see me go out and I'm whatever, I'm running in the snow and I'm, it's for a short amount of time or if I'm videoing with you guys with my t-shirt and it's 20 below, it happened for just a few minutes. But any extended period of time, you need to have some solid good gear, bunny boots, maybe refrigerated wear or, uh, or car hearts. Uh, to be able to handle that. Also for your homes, being able to have some backup parts to be able to heat your homes, guys. Uh, if something goes down, how are you going to stay warm? Trying to stay warm here uh, can be a pretty serious thing. Trying to stay warm and having backup heat sources I think are pretty important here uh, to maybe add to some safety. Dangerous animals, guys. You guys ask about dangerous animals, you're like, I can't believe you let the kids go outside. You know, a bear's gonna run up there and snatch them and run off in the woods and and the, the simple reality is there are wildlife here. Uh, we give them lots of space. Uh, they live here along with us. You give them a lot of respect. There's normally not issues. Any kind of moose, give, give a, don't try to pet them. Don't try to mess with the moose, especially if they have babies. They can be pretty aggressive. So I would feel the moose is probably the more dangerous animal. I have never seen a bear here. However, there are bears. And of course, in the wintertime, they're hibernating. So it's not a, a major deal. However, I have heard stories of bears uh, through December, actually, that are not hibernating for whatever reason. The, the animals, they don't really read the, the, uh, the Wikipedia article on how they're supposed to act here because they're dangerous wild animals. So just being aware of that, keep in mind, like we don't have a lot of bears here. I've never seen a bear here in the interior. I have certain areas of remote Alaska, but not where we are. Moose, always be aware and cautious of moose, but moose are not gonna like gallop up and like trample the kids. That's not how they operate. That though, keep in mind, firearms are an important part of Alaska. And if you are from a different country or if you're from a state that doesn't allow a lot of firearms, it is very different here, guys, very different. It is not uncommon to, to go to stores and people have like a pistol strapped right on the side of their, uh, right in the side of their body as they're walking around the store. Hunters, you'll have shoulder holsters, uh, it, it is not uncommon to see guns. Matter of fact, in most places, I would say that most people here in Alaska actually own a firearm. I had a concern about earthquakes. We have felt earthquakes here, but to be honest, we're right in the middle of the state. Uh, I Most of the earthquakes I'm aware of happen down south area. So more like south, uh, southeast, uh, like the Juneau, uh, 
uh, Anchorage areas. We don't have a lot of earthquakes here um, that, you know, like every now and then it'll be like, oh, that's a nice back massage. You know, it'll be like a 4.0 or a 4.5, but Alaska is just so large and there are a lot of earthquakes. It does not affect us here in the interior. Uh, at least in the last 10 years that I can remember. Uh, just be aware too, if you guys do decide to, to go out, uh, maybe you get on an ATV or a snow machine and you do wanna go out into the wilderness, cell phone coverage is very spotty at places. Always go with at least two people in case your machine breaks down. Uh, it is, I, I cannot tell you enough how many times, how many, how many times that's happened uh, to people that I know of. So always have two machines in case one breaks down. Definitely have two in case one goes down. That way you have a, you have a spare, you have a way to be able to get back. A lot of cell phones don't work in many places here in Alaska and remote Alaska. So just keep that in mind. Some people will actually rent satellite phones if they wanna go super remote. I hope this is just a few things, a lot of questions that we've had. I just thought I'd kind of catch a few here. Uh, is Alaska safe? I would say it is not safe, uh, but it can be if you are prepared. Me, this is just part of the, the raw, untamed beauty of Alaska. That's there's a reason they call this the last frontier. There's places you can go that nobody have ever been nobody's ever been to. It can be very dangerous if you're not careful, but it is absolutely beautiful here and I right now for me I would not live anywhere else. Now that might change in the future, but um, I actually like the the feeling of freedom, the feeling of uh, uh, land and just, I don't know, I like this, the community here. To me, this is home and I just thought I'd share a few things that and questions that you guys had, maybe that answer some of them. But we are gonna do a Q&A here coming up shortly. If you guys have a few questions, maybe you could leave them down below. Uh, maybe we can include that in the next Q&A. And with that, I think we're gonna go to the post office. So let's get on the road. the North Pole Post Office and we are going to take our stamps and go put them in random locations. We don't know if we're gonna do actual boxes or if we're gonna do like just around. We're, we're gonna survey, we're gonna survey the, so excited. Let me show you my little happy notes that I made with it. Mail some Christmas joy on us. So we're just gonna tape this with the stamps. Tonight, climb down the chimney at the speed of light while we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas hey Guys, so we finished hanging up all of our fun little mail someone some Christmas joy. So if you guys are local, there's some stamps down here if you want some. I call this one a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm reunited with this one. How did drumming go this afternoon? It was good. Fireworks and everything. If I caught it, I don't know if I hit the right Are you button. Man, he's too big. He's kind of a newbie. He's kind of a newbie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.